Welcome to this math grid package in which we're going to show you how um, you can create a mathematical grid in which you can zoom in with the uh, mouse wheel and zoom out with the mouse wheel too and whenever it gets to a certain point of zooming the grid is going to adapt to the values of uh, of the, the grid so you will have an infinite grid with different uh, approaches in function of how you move. Um, if you drag on the on the screen, you will be able to move your your uh, grid too. And whenever it gets uh, farther from the axis, the numbers will appear on the button and on the left. And uh, the same happens when you go to the left, to the negative part. The numbers will stay at the corners of the of the screen in order to make you uh, have the reference of the of the grid. So that's how, how it works uh, in, in, um, in the big picture. Uh, you can zoom in again and you can go until uh, 0 0.1, I think. Yes, exactly, you can go until 0 0.1 and in this, in this case it will stop and then you can zoom out until infinite. Okay, so you have that, that effect there. So now let's check how the scripts work. Uh, the main script is uh, generate uh, grid, which is a script that is going to create, first of all, uh, in the, uh, you can see here, this line here, the draw grid, is going to create the secondary axis. The secondary axis are the ones that are in gray, here. These ones here are the secondary axis. And these ones here are the divisions. So uh, you can find them on the on the inspector inside the different containers here. For example, in the divisions, you will have the divisions here, and in the secondary axis, you will have the secondary axis there. Uh, you you also create um, uh, an, a canvas for each number that is here in this line here. You will see it. Um, the text. So for uh, the right part or the left part of the, the grid, which are uh, these ones here, the left part, the right part, the top part and the bottom part, you have a, a different uh, part of the script that is going to generate that part. So uh, you generate first the lines, which are the, here, the prefab lines. Uh, which are the divisions because you can see what we're using a resolution and then a resolution that is divided by another value so this is like the small lines that are created the five lines between the division the secondary divisions and then you create the secondary lines here in this line here then you create the text that is this uh, code this part of the code you repeat. Uh, we're going to repeat that for um, the uh, the right part, the bottom part, the top part, and then we are checking the zoom. So, in fact, when we when we move uh, out of the of the grid or in the grid, we have to check the zoom all the time, and that's uh, what this function does. That is going to be inside the fixes update, and uh, what it uh, mainly performs is uh, an update of the values of the limits that you can see here for the grid okay so whenever the limits are changed uh, the values of the resolution 2 are going to be changed the resolution is changed here and here by a factor of 10 and whenever we get closer or farther from the grid, the resolution is going to change and the distance between the lines is going to be bigger or smaller. Then what we have to do is check the number of position. The check the number of position, what it does is um, adapts the position of the text, as you can see here, whenever we get out the limits of the axis. So this is now managed by the, the check number position. So it's really easy to understand. What we do is just uh, use the different uh, field of view values of the camera and in function of the position of the camera and uh, the reference of that, uh, of that value here on top that we have calculated, 
we are able to uh, obtain the position, the new position of the text. So that's regarding the uh, the different uh, movement of of the of the numbers. And then, uh, as we said before, in the fixed uh, update, we have the check zoom uh, function. Then we have uh, the check axis values and the check number position. The check number position is the one that have we explained before. And in this part of the code, what we do is just um, uh, verify that when whenever we are moving on the on the grid, we are able to uh, update the position of all the, the the lines of the of the grid. So, for example, if you select the axis, you will see um, which is the uh, the threshold of our of the maximum and minimum positions of the of, of, of the lines and whenever you move on the on the on space and you check the position of the camera that is going to be moving to the left or to the right okay um, you will see how the uh, position of all these lines here change whenever we get out of the limits so for example now we are going right and in a couple of seconds it will change okay so you have seen it there it changed to the right so uh, like that we 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 have um, a really performant grid because it always um, uses a small amount of of uh, of lines which means that it's going to be very performant so thanks very much for watching this tutorial I hope you consider downloading this package